An electric field strength created by charge Q is measured to be 40 Newton per Coulomb at a distance of 0.2 meter from the center of the charge. Okay, let's go draw that all out. So we've got a charge and that charge is called Q. Now they're saying that the electric field strength um, at a distance of 0.2 meters, okay, so we've got some random little place which I'll just call X and the distance between the charge, which is this one, the charge, and this random point is 0 0.2 meters. And the electric field strength, which is E, not F, um, is 40 Newton per Coulomb, 40 Newton per Coulomb. What is the new field strength when the distance from the center is changed to 0 0.4? And we are gonna have, when the distance, okay, what is the new field strength when the distance from the center is changed to 0 0.4 meters and the charge of Q becomes double? Okay, so so we're gonna get a stronger charge. What well, doesn't necessarily mean it's bigger, but this is gonna be two Q, so it's gonna be double whatever this charge is, but the distance is gonna be 0 0.4, okay? So this will be a new place called Y, and this distance is gonna be 0 0.4 meters. Okay, so let's think about this. Um, one at a time. Now listen to me carefully because if you just listen carefully, it, it will make sense. You, let's look at this scenario over here. So we know that this is a random little point. This over here is not a charge. Many learners think that this is a charge. That is not a charge, that is just a random, that is just a random point or a place. Okay, that's just a random place. Now there is this charge. Think of this as like this big like, I don't know, like machine that is busy generating an electric field, like see it's busy generating an electric field. And this little point, we simply looking at that point and we, we, we measuring how much of this electric field can we detect or can we measure over here, okay? Okay, now check this out. In this scenario over here, we're gonna make the machine even bigger. So now it's like, zzz, it's like really powerful zzz, <laughs> because it's got double the charge. So it's really, you know, it's it's really causing some serious electric field. Okay, that, that erased over there. So it's causing some serious electric field. So if that was the only thing that we changed, then we would expect the electric field to go up. Yeah, we would expect it to, to increase, okay? And it would probably have doubled because if you go from Q, if you go from an electric field there to double, then you would elect, you would double um, what you feel over here. But look what we've done. We've also doubled the distance. So this little point over here was like, oh my God, I can't handle all of this extreme electric field strength that's coming out of here. Let's move a little bit away. So you see what it did? It went and it doubled the distance. Now, some of you have immediately in your mind said, oh, so the answer's not gonna change. Am I right, Kevin? Am I right? The answer's just gonna stay the same. Because here we doubled the strength, which would make the electric field stronger, but then we moved the thing further away. And remember, the further away that you move, the lower the um, the lower the electric field. You know, it's like really strong over here. But as it moves away, it becomes a little bit less, okay? Because the distance, um, the closer you go to this machine, the stronger it is, or this charge, but the further away you move, that force becomes less. Okay, Kevin, so what are we gonna do, my bro? How are we actually gonna do this? Okay, so we know that the original electric field over here was 40. So we're gonna say 40, okay? Then if you go from Q to 2Q, then what does that do to the strength of the electric field? Well, that would make it double as strong. So we're gonna say 40 multiplied by two. But then we've made the distance, we've made the distance double. Can you see we've doubled the distance from 0 0.2 to 0 0.4? So you might think that we have to go like this, divide it by two. But if we look at the formula, this one over here, or any formula actually in this entire chapter, we know that the distance always has a square. So whatever we do to the distance, square that. And so if we work out 80 divided by four, that would be 20. So the electric field over here is only going to be 20 
newton coulombs yes it would have become larger because of this extremely because now this has become stronger but we also moved further away and the more you move away the lower the the, the electric field um, effect becomes so the answer here would be d 